We're swimming in a toxic sea at this point. What's happening inside us? These particles are endocrine disruptors. So the list of effects on the human body is immense, many of which are unknown. When we have an atmosphere, a breathable air column, that's laden with toxic, heavy metal nanoparticulates, and these particulates are so small that according to internationally recognized neuroscientists like Dr. Russell Blaylock, who's spoken on the record, these particles enter straight through the lung lining, go straight into the bloodstream, adhere to cell receptors, cross the blood-brain barrier, do an unimaginable amount of damage to our system. It's not only bioavailable, it's bioaccumulative. It builds up in our system. It goes in, it doesn't come out. The bottom line is all of us are getting sicker by the day. We're firing on less neurons by the day. We're thinking less cognitively. One out of three seniors in the US now dies with Alzheimer's and or dementia. One out of three, not dies from it, but dies with it. In the case of autism, also peer-reviewed study proves connected to aluminum exposure. We have autism going from 1 in 5,000 in 1975 to 1 in 47 in 2014. And now we have internationally recognized institutions like MIT stating on the record that in less than nine years, we will have every other child with autism. Every other child. How many red flags does it take? The list of effects on the human body is immense, many of which are unknown but what is known is bad enough. We face a fight for life. If every breath we take is laden with these particles and the lab tests prove that they are, this is not theory, not conjecture, not speculation, every breath we take is laden with these materials. We have a fight for life. It's time we face it accordingly.